It is a lightweight title fight between Khabib Nurmagomedov and Justin Gaethje. All right, here he is, the number one lightweight contender making his way to the octagon and looking to lead as the new undisputed UFC lightweight champion of the world. He has bided his time, waiting for this title shot. He's got the winning streak. He has the quality of opposition. Now he's fighting the number one guy in the world. He believes he's the best. Now his opportunity to prove it just a few minutes away. All right, here he is, the reigning defending undisputed UFC lightweight champion of the world. Of course, the target is on his back. All eyes are on this man tonight as he tries to make good on yet another title defense. He has owned this division for some time. The question is, as the challenges get stiffer, can he remain the hunted? Several championship fights to his credit, a lot of 25-minute wars. As he gets older, the challenges get stiffer. We'll see how he handles this one tonight. Our tale of the tape for this, our main event of the evening. Both fighters are 31. Gaethje is one inch taller. The reach is identical. Now here's Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Mergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City, it's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC Lightweight Championship of the World. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, holding a professional record of 22 wins, two losses. He stands 5 feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Presenting the challenger, Justin the Highlight Gaethje. And now, introducing the champion, Fighting out of the red corner. This man is a grappler, holding a professional record of 28 wins, no losses. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of the Republic of Dagestan, Russia, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC lightweight champion of the world, Habib the Eagle. yourself at all times on a nice clean safe fight touch gloves back your corners and fight. So here we go, this highly anticipated fight is now underway. Looks like a classic matchup of striker versus grappler. Am I simplifying things too much? In this instance, you aren't, because this is what got these two men to the show. One guy is known for his diverse attack on the feet. The other guy is known for his ability to drag the fight to the mat and put his opponents in danger from the very start of the grappling exchanges. Well, these 
These are some excellent ground and pound strikes here, DC. There's an efficiency with which he operates in these situations. He knows exactly when to throw, exactly when to hold, and it's allowing him to really control the grappling aspects of the fight. There's a song there, right? Know when to hold him, know, know when, when to hold him. Yep, absolutely. Go. Crazy accuracy and efficiency with these ground and pound strikes here. And if you're the opponent, you got to intelligently defend or the referee's going to stop you got to defend. But you can see him now starting to gain posture and the intensity at which he's throwing these ground strikes is starting to improve. It's starting to elevate because he knows that he can get the finish. Man, this is some serious ground and pound. He's trying to put this dude's head, like, through the canvas. He's one of the better ground and pound fighters we have in the entire UFC, and you're seeing why. Well, not good body language from his opponent here, DC. He's curled up. No, he's exhausted. He's been beaten. All right, he's sort of hanging out here unguarded, DC. Not sure if he's trying to bait him in or what, but not great body language here. Oh, wow, that happened quickly as the fighter reverses position there on the ground. Unbelievable position change. Wow, what a transition. So 31 total strikes have now landed for Khabib Nurmagomedov. All right, single collar tie now. Big call punch lands. Now he gets back in range. Oh, nice advance there by Gagey, just relentless in his pursuit of not just perfection, but of the opponent. I mean, the pressure that he fights with is phenomenal. He's constantly in your face, constantly making you work, making you feel like there is no place for you to escape the pressure of Justin Gage. He lands a big knee to the body. He's timing his shots nicely here, champ. He's doing a great job of mixing everything up and using a lot of diverse strikes. Big punch lands over the top. I was going to follow this one. He lands with the left. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. He comes forward with a flying knee that just missed hitting the target flush. Big kick land. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Round two next. All right, now we take a look back at some of the action in that previous round, DC. A lot to like on both sides here. I mean, both were intent on going forward. And what happens when nobody wants to take a step back? They meet in the middle. That's exactly what they did, and they both found success over the course of that round. Two is here, Khabib Nurmagomedov versus Justin, the highlight gauge. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Oh, he might be out. Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Boom. Big jab. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Got the single collar tie. Big punch lands. Ooh. So we call on the fight stats here. These numbers are unofficial, but 52 total strikes have now landed for Khabib Nurmagomedov. Well, two out of every three strikes, finding the target, landing with 67% accuracy against Justin Gaethje. Strong defense here as the hook to the head is blocked. Now he's got the Muay Thai block. Oh, big uppercut there. Didn't get the knockdown, but that is a significant strike. A very significant strike. And now his opponent may start to drop the hand to block the uppercut. So look at him to throw something else now up top. Under the hip toss as he takes him down. Now we'll see what he can do. Right into side control. All right, bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. All right, working inside the closed guard now. This is no safe place against this opponent. Man, how fun is this to watch as he continues to go out damage with the ground and pound? Take it back to the days of guys like Mark Coleman, just beating people up in the ground and pound. This guy is a throwback fighter. He's very fun to watch. Yeah, the godfather would be proud. Nice hammer fist. 
He's putting him in exactly the position he needs to be in right now. He's able to relax here. And he understands, being a veteran of so many fights, that as long as he's on top, he's winning. He feels like he's winning here. Well, pretty good work off of the bottom here by Gaethje. Oh, look at the redness underneath that left elbow. He is badgering that left side of the body. And now he has a headlock trying to pin his opponent's back down flat onto the mat. Look for him to transition to an arm triangle to try to chase the finish. Watch triangle, watch triangle. arm to the side get his head against the mat now watch as he goes to the finish watch his chest go to the mat he goes flat all the way nice to the all right, he's trying to control posture here now trying to hip escape he's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom nice punch land over the top stuff to take down no problems oh man good stick to the body both fighters here oh! His chance coming in. Big knockdown for him in the previous round. DC, talk us through the highlight. He got in his opponent's face, landed that big punch that put his opponent flat on his back. He couldn't get the finish, but if he lands one more time just like that, he will get the victory. strike with anybody in the UFC. 91 total strike. Oh! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got a pressure. Oh! Back to the feet! Oh, straight right! Oh, huge oh. elbow there! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. Isn't it fun to watch this dude work on the mat? He's unbelievable how fluid he is in his motions on the mat. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. Good movement by him here, transitioning very well on the ground tonight. Step for step, he's staying with his opponent in every transition. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. Oh, nice job to reverse position on the ground. It was bad, but now it's not so bad. What a fantastic sweep. Now it's his mount. Well, he's got his back now. I love watching this guy move on the ground. Another nice transition there. Such a high level grappler. You don't see that very often. Nurmago Medov's got his back yet again. All right, looks like he's got a couple hooks in here, DC, and defensively, you better be careful. Working off of his back here, looks like he may try to hip escape. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. All right, north-south position here. We'll see if the crowd can be mature about this, DC. All right, he's got side control here, DC. You know, he's got a lot of different submissions in his arsenal once this fight gets to the ground. 
All right, let's check out some of the action, DC, and how about the punching acumen by that fighter in that previous round? He does not waste anything. He does not loop punches. Everything's tight. Everything's precise. He's a sniper. We always talk about how he's a sniper. He is a sniper, and it showed in that exchange that allowed him to drop his opponent. All right, so here we go with our fourth round of a possible five, and a lot of fighters change up their training camp when they're fighting five rounds versus three. Yeah, you gotta change it up. You have to mix things up, because fighting for an extra 10 minutes is not normal. Guys don't do this normally. It's a 15-minute fight, so you have to do things physically and also... Oh! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Now goes in and secures the takedown. Gaethje's lower jaw now starting to show signs of swelling. All right, bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. Oh, the ground and pound is there. I need you to scramble, scramble. All right, north-south position now, DC. We'll see how he chooses to advance from here. A lot of top pressure being applied here. Oh, he's got the knee on the belly. Could be trouble defensively. Good movement by him here on the ground. He really is a master of these. Going for the arm here. Oh, nice. Oh, we're getting a finish here. And this might just be a matter of time. Yeah, that is high-level grappling right there as he gets the win tonight here by way of submission. And he bided his time there. He stayed patient, waited for an opening, and then when it was there, he certainly capitalized to get the tap here tonight. He gets it done by submission tonight, champ. He does a great job of staying patient. He doesn't rush or panic. You are never safe when you're fighting this guy. You're in a lot of trouble. You're in a lot of trouble the entire time when you're this good in the submissions. Well, ladies and gentlemen, there he is, the UFC lightweight champion, and I'm not sure any 155-pounder could have held up under the onslaught here tonight. He wins the belt by way of submission. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Bergliana has called a stop to this contest at 2 minutes, 24 seconds of round number 4. Declaring the winner by a tap out, and still the undisputed UFC lightweight champion of the world. So there he is, and still UFC lightweight champion at 155 pounds. That's saying something, right? A murderer's row of contenders, and the number one contender, no match for the champion. Team. For a long time, we talked about 155 as the toughest division in the entire UFC. Tonight, he shows why he is the champion, he's been the champion, and he will stay the UFC lightweight champion.